there for round 11 of the scheduled 12 rounder, the WBC Continental America's Championship. The junior lightweights on the line. And Sparrow's management telling him that when he gets inside, it's not good enough to throw one punch. He's got to begin to double up. The problem there, Peter, is that he really hasn't been successful in getting inside consistently at all. No, he hasn't, and that's through his own tactics. I can't believe his corner would just tell him uh, the technical things to do with punches, but he can't get inside to do them, and you can tell a guy to throw any type of punch he wants. If he can't get close to the guy to hit him, uh, there's no point, and they should be imploring him to rough his man up, get inside, and make this a closer fight that way. He's got, that's the only tactic he has. He, has a, he can't outbox his man, he can't outfoot his man, he's got to go outfight his man and outrough him. That's the only thing he can do. Sparrow now attempting to back Tony Pep into a corner, but Pep uh, in tremendous condition, as he told me he was, still up on his toes, dancing, moving, boxing, keeping Sparrow at bay. Break, break. Throwing that single left hand, now leading with the right. Break. Following up, looking for the combination, trying to inflict more damage. Tony Pep unmarked in the fight so far. That a testament to the fact that he's been able to remain on the outside, and that for the most part, when Sparrow has been able to get inside, Pep has been able to elude his blows. Well, throughout this fight, Sparrow has allowed Pep to get off on him, make the lead to him, score on him, and he's tried to slip and counterpunch. Meanwhile, when he slips and counterpunches, Pep just slides away and, and really gets away from any type of punishment that Sparrow can deal out. Sparrow has to initiate, initiate these attacks, then once he gets on the inside, he can go to work. But as long as he stands back and just waits for that opening to happen, it never will happen because Pep's not allowing it to happen. Well, Pep's part of this so-called boxing controversy here in Vancouver, Peter, one of a handful of boxers that also includes Dale Walters and the middleweight champ Michael Elijah Day that all believe they should be top draw here in Vancouver. So quite a little controversy there going among the boxers themselves and Pep giving a good account of himself here, which will certainly add fuel to his fire. Yes, I would agree with you, Doug. They've all got a good argument. They've uh, demonstrated uh, great ability in their boats. And uh, here's another illustration of it here. Pep putting on a, a tremendous uh, exhibition of boxing, uh, knowledgeable boxing, smart boxing, cagey boxing. He's like a veteran. This, this uh, Pep is impressive. He's impressive. Isn't that amazing, Peter, for a kid of 20 years? It is, it is amazing. And it, it's partly due, I'm sure, to good training and also that he loves to fight. He, he loves it. He's a student of the game. If you're a student of any sport and you keep working at it, you're going to get better. There's no, no doubt about that. And here he is giving a tremendous boxing demonstration to, to Carlton Sparrow. He's totally frustrated. Sparrow now backing up with his gloves to his face. Well, it appeared throughout that round that Carlton Sparrow is really giving up the ghost in this fight. He just has no way to figure out Tony Pep. He can't get in the inside, he can't outbox his man, and he definitely doesn't want to out-hustle him. And here he is just taking a series of blows, he's blocking some in his hands, but he's returning nothing. really 
was. Well, the two boxers shaking hands now as if to suggest there were no hard feelings. But I'll tell you, this is one confused, disappointed man. He has caught this battle, but has no way to solve the riddle of Tony Peck. Twelfth and final round of his championship bout. And Farrell looking to come up with one last flurry. He's hurt, Peter. He's stunned. He was stunned with a left hook, right hand combination, and he tried to exchange with Pep. Pep's got lots of zip left. Sparrow doesn't really, and really, if he wants to survive, he shouldn't get in the exchanges, but he has to. He has to try to knock Pep out. It's the only way he can win. So he's got to hit on the inside, and he's got to try to exchange every time he does. Pep's got a lot of zip and hurts him. I think foremost on Sparrow's mind at this stage of the game is survival, Peter. It has to be. He's throwing in the towel. Really, it, it has to be survival, but he's got that professional attitude about him. He's got a heart that says, I, you know, I've got to win this fight. I've I got, got to try to knock this guy out. That's the way he's trained. That's in his mind. So that's why he's giving him his best. But there's Pep's just got too much zip for him. There's Sparrow pushing the fight the best he can, but really, he can't get in the inside and he can't land that, that, that hurting blow because all the zip has gone out of his punches. Even if he landed a good shot right now, Pep is in just too good a condition really to be hurt right now. And there he is, picking Sparrow off, moving away, using the jab. He's got the fight in his back pocket right now. He doesn't have to worry about it. There it is, the bell signifying the end of the 12th and final round and a well-deserved standing ovation. Yes, a standing ovation for Vancouver's own Tony Papp. A standing ovation for Tony Papp, and he deserves it. Marvelous display of boxing against Las Vegas, Nevada's Carlton Sparrow. Receiving congratulations and being toweled off now by his corner. And as I say, just a great performance by Tony Papp, only 20 years old. The decision inevitable here, I feel, but we'll come back and... scores at 119 to 108 and judge davy boy scores at 120 107 the winner and new america's hot league champion Pep. Pep, Pep. yes peter and there could be absolutely no question about that one an absolutely impressive performance by young 20 year old tony Pep. don't you agree outstanding boxing uh, demonstration there fighting a, a veteran fighter really from las vegas and he's a rising star in the canadian scene and uh, really proved his worth here and uh, won the hearts of the, the vancouver fans right. they're a little dismal about him in his last show here and they've got to be impressed with that well tony pep the reigning canadian featherweight champion now adds the WBC Continental Championship of the Americas as a junior lightweight to his collection. And the way this young man looks, there could be many, many more before he has all done his boxing career. Let's go back now to Sports Weekend Control. All right, so with me now, the reigning Canadian featherweight champion. And as you can see, also a man with a new belt to his credit, the light heavyweight championship of the Continental Americas. Junior lightweight, absolutely. The lightweight is to come, I presume, at some point in the future. But a marvelous boxing display uh, by you tonight, Tony. I have seldom seen better. Was that your plan, to box him all the way? Oh, yeah, it was. Um, I heard about uh, Carlton Two-Gun Sparrow that uh, he was a good puncher. He had 16 knockouts in 26 fights, so I was very wary about his punching power. So I thought the first round I'd go out there and see what I could do. I hit him really good around, I think it was the second round I heard him. But, like I said before, he was a veteran, and uh, he knew how to, you know, stay out of trouble so after that I found that I couldn't really reach him too good with the right hand so I just boxed more or less Tony given his size five foot six you had to know that he was going to be trying to get inside to you uh, did you plan to try and combat that from the outset yeah definitely um, I tried to use my reach and my head advantage to its fullest, fullest which I did very well I thought congratulations on the new championship thank you very much <laughs> Tony Pep two championships around his waist now perhaps more to come in the future right now back to sports weekend control all right thanks again douglas and we'll have more boxing